Next up at pick number 12, the Houston Texans have traded with the Cleveland Browns by giving their 25th pick and their first rounder next year. So, in, in, you know, the, the Cleveland Browns are pretty much owning the Houston Texans right now. They got their second round pick to pick up the dead money, essentially, for the Brock Osweiler from the Texans. And now they've gone ahead and got their first round pick. So the Browns, once again, controlling the clock. If they can continue to hit first round picks, they will be set. But the Texans moving up right now. We're waiting for the pick. A lot of people are saying maybe it's going to be Deshaun Watson. Is this a panic move? Because all the other quarterbacks have been drafted and been flying off the board. Wait and see. Let's see. The pick is in. Let's see what it is. And they select Deshaun Watson, the quarterback from Clemson, coming up to get their quarterback because I, I personally think this is a panic move because all the other quarterbacks were gone, and I really do believe they fell in love with Patrick Mahomes. But still, I mean, Deshaun Watson, that's an open quarterback battle right now between him and Tom Savage. I would guess a guy like Bill O'Brien won't panic to make Deshaun Watson the starter and may let Tom Savage, you know, earn the starting. We have to at least start open uh, preseason as the number one quarterback on that team. But that is a big move there. You're going to get the Clemson time between him and DeAndre Hopkins. I assume that's going to make Hopkins happy, who's your superstar wide receiver. Anytime you have that kind of guy happy, everything is good. But Deshaun Watson is a quarterback that I'm a big fan of. He's my favorite quarterback in this year's draft class. I've been a fan of him since way, way back in the 2014 season where he played pretty much half the season with a torn ACI. So unbelievable fight, unbelievable playmaking ability. I mean, his accuracy, sure, he looked a little hot and cold throughout last season for Clemson. But when the game counted against Alabama, against a team full of future NFL starters, he absolutely balled, came out to play. Big game mentality that you just can't teach. He has the intangibles that you look for in a franchise quarterback. And I think that this is a good pick for the Texans. Maybe a bit of a reach, but again, because how the quarterback draft board was going out you kind of had to do this you either were going to do this or get stuck with Tom Savage and you no know, personally though I, I am a little bit of a Tom Savage fan I'm happy with Deshaun Watson he's going with a great quarterback coach in Bill O'Brien I wish nothing but the best him now leading the Texans and the AFC South is very, very interesting this year. It's going to be the Titans. It's going to be the Colts. Now the Texans may have themselves a starting quarterback. I could certainly see Deshaun Watson being the eventual starter by, you know, week four, week five, depending on how the Tom Savage experiment goes. But at least now they have that option to go to. Rather, if it sucks with Tom Savage, I mean, who's their back? A brain and weed or something like that? So overall, good pick. Let me know, Texans fans, what you think about the Deshaun Watson selection. Do you think it's a panic? Do you think it's a good move? Let me know. And next up on the clock is the Arizona Cardinals. I can smell my eagles coming up. I'm very nervous. Not Derek Barnett.